I must say, I was made to smile quite a bit by a report in the Times today by Ben Matchell about a person called Major Johnny Thompson, who's an equerry uh, for the king, who is, uh, he, he's the person who walks um, uh, a few steps behind the king in the coronation, and uh, the, the kilted man, and he's the person who is always opening the door uh, and uh, guiding people into audiences with his majesty. And it's a most extraordinary, um, extraordinarily reverential and uh, almost a love letter to this kilted man. And uh, <laughs> it's, it, it's charming. Uh, apparently, the king inherited this man from his mother and a uh, sort of bodyguard, personal retainer, um, 39 years old, uh, hyper-observant, uh, visible in the Queen's funeral and now in the coronation. And he says that this is a great line. Some cynics have suggested that he only looked so attractive because he spent much of the coronation surrounded by balding Anglican bishops in dresses who looked as if they'd been dug up. Well, I must say, I must say, um, I, 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 I think, um, I think anybody wearing a kilt cuts a, cuts a good figure, and uh, at least this again, rather like the wonderful image of the first minister of Scotland, also in a kilt, uh, it uh, salutes Scotland and is a statement about how important Scotland is to the United Kingdom and how. Uh, Enthusiastically, we in England down here would love to retain um, Scotland as part of the United Kingdom, but really it is up to Scotland. And uh, I, think, um, I think we need to make more of an effort to uh, reach out and to convince Scotland that it is worth staying.